guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a review of the H&M makeup line. So if you guys didn't know, which I didn't know until pretty recently, H&M has a makeup line. Like, a full makeup line. I was in Vegas and I saw that there was a section in the store with just makeup and I haven't seen that in any of the H&M's that I've been to in my area so just the one in Vegas is the only one I've seen but they also have it online so you can buy the makeup online as well so I have had these products for a little while now and I've actually tested all of them out to let you guys know how they work for me and I don't have any foundation products or anything like that so all the products that I got should probably have a pretty similar wear time and experience with anybody just because I have dry skin doesn't mean someone with oily skin is gonna have much of a different experience because all the products that I got were like lipsticks and eyeshadow so I mean if you have like really oily eyelids then maybe the wear time will be different for the eyeshadow but for the most part I think all the products is gonna wear the same on every single person so it's pretty universal of a review so I'm going to start with the products that worked the worst and work my way up to my favorites so I think my least favorite product was the liquid lipstick which is such a bummer because I really wanted to like them. Quick note, something else that I don't like about the company is that the cosmetics are non-returnable. Like, once you buy them, it's final sale, which is kind of annoying. A lot of companies like Sephora, Ulta, even a lot of drugstores will let you return makeup even after they're opened if they don't work for you. H&M, even if they're unopened, you can't return them. They're completely final sale, which is a huge bummer, especially if you're ordering online because you don't know if the color is gonna be really good and you don't know if you're gonna like it because you can't swatch it or anything like that. And the prices are right around drugstore, but a little bit higher. I would say like physician's formula type prices. Anyways, first product was the liquid lipstick and it's the Velvet Lip Cream. And I just wanted to quickly show you how everything came in the mail. I think I got it all in a box in an envelope. And then each one was packaged like this. So it was in a little clear plastic bag. And then it came in their boxes. I took most of the things out of the boxes and threw them away. So I just wanted to show you like one of them. And this is the Velvet Lip Cream in the color I got Pep Talk. So the color itself is gorgeous and it's not what I have on today. It has a very like square rectangular uh, applicator. It kind of reminds me of, I want to say the NYX uh, lip lingeries. And this, let me tell you, is matte. It feels nice going on, but it also goes on patchy. So I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell from this swatch, but it's very thin of a formula. Like it's a moussey texture, but the color is thin and so you have to do a couple layers you just have to kind of work with it to get the full color now once you you know put a couple layers on even while it's still wet you don't have to like wait for it to dry and then put on another layer it does get completely opaque once it dries down even if you just do one thin layer so you can just do a really thin although patchy layer or you can build it up or you can put on a layer let it dry put on another layer I've tried every kind of application method it is very very dry and I don't leave it on my lips long enough to really know if it feels drying on my lips like if it sucks the moisture out of my lips I'm not sure because I keep taking it off because it looks dry like it just does not look good and if you like kind of rub your lips together a little bit it crumbles like immediately like after five minutes probably even less pieces of the color of the lipstick goes onto your shirt, onto the floor, and it's bad. I don't know if I got it done. If you've had a different experience with these liquid lipsticks, let me know because I really want to like them because it was $10. And like the ColourPop ones, for example, they're $6. A lot of people don't like them because they're too drying. And if you don't like them, you're definitely not gonna like these because they're way more drying. But the ColourPop ones are so much better. They're definitely not the best liquid lipstick formula I've tried. But this is by far the worst out of all the liquid lipsticks that I've tried, and I have tried a lot. Okay, working our way up. It's another lip product, unfortunately, that was second from the bottom. And it's not great either. These are the lip pencils, or lip definers is what they call them. But it's literally just a lip liner. And I got two colors. I got Cherry Tart and chalk therapy they're both really pretty colors i especially really like the cherry tart one it's like 
really down to the nub I have to sharpen it but there's the color there really pretty kind of a dark mauvey maroony purple um, and chalk therapy is definitely like a, a nude brown so there's chalk therapy there and cherry tart cherry tart is really bad chalk therapy is okay and I think it might just be the color the formula is just a little bit different because that does happen sometimes color to color even if they're the same product the formula can vary a little bit and the cherry tart one oh it's bad it goes on really dry like they're both matte because they're lip liners and most of the time lip liners are matte and they it's just it pulls it pulls so much it feels matte it feels dry it doesn't feel creamy at all like if you've tried the ColourPop ones I know I'm comparing everything to ColourPop but that's just like kind of the de facto standard on YouTube these days the ColourPop lip, lip liners are very creamy going on even though they're matte they're creamy this one is it feels dry and it's so uncomfortable after five minutes of wearing it by itself because I wanted to you know see how the wear time was by itself I had to put a lip gloss on top because it was just sucking the moisture out of my lips. It wasn't good. And the chalk therapy one, it is a little bit better. It definitely doesn't feel like it's, you know, sucking the moisture out, but it does pull a little bit, although not as much as the cherry tart. And it did last a little bit longer. However, it didn't hold up through food at all. I ate lunch, you know, maybe an hour after applying it and it came off really fast. It was completely gone. By the time i finished my food i mean there was still some around the rims of my lips uh, on the outside but I'm, i had to take it off because it looks super funky it's a little bit longer maybe a couple hours if i don't eat anything so it's like a traditional lipstick wear time wise also both of them go on a little bit patchy so i have to you know kind of keep building it up to get the color the same all over my lips like if I go over it in one layer and I get a little bit more in one section it's darker so I have to go over the rest of my lips okay moving on so I got the lip color to go in the shade Zinfandel and basically it's just a lip crayon so it's not a pencil it's just like a chubby crayon and I'll swatch that one as well and this color is really pretty it's just a dark purple Right here, it's showing up darker in the camera than it is in real life. I mean, it is dark for sure, but it's not like almost black. Like it looks like you guys are going to be able to see. And this one, this one does have a bit of a scent, which I didn't really realize until right now. And I can't figure out what it is. It smells a little bit chocolatey, a little bit fruity, maybe like a chocolate covered strawberry or cherry. But it's really mild and I mean, I didn't notice it and I've worn it a few times. And so once it's on the lips, you don't notice it. Also, um, this is... A sharpening pencil as well as the lip liner so you do have to sharpen all of these which is a little bit annoying I prefer the twist type especially since I don't know if I have a sharpener that's this chubby I think I have to go pick one up because I do have you know one that's like small and one that's a little bit bigger but I don't think it's quite this big anyways this one is again okay the wear time couple hours it doesn't feel as drying for sure I mean it doesn't suck the moisture out it's probably about on par with the chalk therapy lip liner it's not terrible but it's not fantastic i did quickly want to share the prices with you i forgot to mention that the liquid lipstick as i said was 9.99 the lip liners were each 5.99 and the lip crayon is 6.99 i think this one honestly has one of my favorite packaging out of all of them i don't know why it just looks very sleek and high-end even though it was only 6.99 again a little bit patchy not as bad as the lip liners and i think that has something to do with the fact that it's a little bit creamier because it's a crayon a little bit chubbier than the lip pencils which are very you know defining i think there's a product that was after the lip liners before the lip crayon so that is the nail polish and i got the shade witching hour it's a dark green kind of a foresty teal green there's like a little bit of blue in it but it's mostly green and this nail polish is 5.99 which is about average for like a drugstore nail polish it's not as expensive as like Essie or OPI which are like eight nine dollars and it's not as cheap as like sinful colors which are like two bucks each this nail polish is probably one of the worst nail polishes that I've ever tried it wasn't as bad as the liquid lipstick because it didn't feel uncomfortable but the wear time on this was so bad and opacity was okay I think it was like two coats to get full opacity and it looked good it was a really pretty color I loved the color but I put it on my fingers and my toes and normally polish on my toes 
could last through a nuclear war. It does not budge on my toes. I don't know why, it's just because I'm wearing shoes. Nail polish doesn't chip on my toes. It takes a, a lot to make them chip on my toes. This nail polish, within 12, maybe 24 hours tops, started chipping really, really bad. I don't know why. I didn't do anything different. I didn't like go to the beach. I wasn't getting sand all over my feet. I wasn't in the salt water. There was nothing that could have broken it up. Could have. I didn't do anything different. And the nail polish was chipping so bad, so fast. So I definitely wouldn't recommend this polish. I mean, if you are looking for a quick manicure just for like one day and you want to do it in one or two coats, this might be okay. But the wear time was terrible. Making our way up the pyramid, we have got the high impact eye color. And I don't know why I saved the box on this one for you guys, but I did. And the color is Maroon, M-A-R-R-O-N-E. It was $6.99. So it's a single eyeshadow. So here's the packaging here, just the gold with h and you can see the color through it and then white on the back. So one thing that really bugs me, that's you know not something that most people would care about, is it doesn't open all the way. This is as far as it opens and I was really hoping it would lay flat just because that's what I prefer. So the color is kind of a, it's definitely like a deeper brown, maybe with a hint of purple and a little bit of shimmer. It goes on swatched, pretty nice it definitely doesn't feel like buttery or creamy or anything like that but it doesn't you know feel hard like there's some eyeshadows like baked eyeshadows they feel hard it's not just like one pass and then swipe and that's what you get you have to kind of rub your finger in there for a little bit that's what i have like kind of in the outer v in the crease but if you want to get this color like that i swatched you have to build it up quite a bit it doesn't go on super easy so if you're looking for something that is easy to work with because you have to start light, you can't really go overboard with it, then this is a pretty good one. It would take a lot to go overboard since you have to build it up so much. I think my biggest plus with this eyeshadow is the wear time is surprisingly good. I put it on one day, I like the beginning of the day, and then 12 hours later at night before I went to bed, it looked just as good. Some of my other eyeshadows that I had worn, because I used you know, some other eyeshadows with it, we're starting to fade quite a bit. This one looked just as good as it did when I first put it on. Okay, and then I just have two more products to talk about. The first is the one I am wearing on my lips today. So this is a regular cream lipstick. And this is what it looks like here. Really pretty, the white with the gold, and this is H&M in gold as well. And the color is Dragon Fruit. So it's just a very purpley pink, very bright, very fun for summer and it feels so good going on. So if I were to recommend anything, it would definitely be this. Really, there's only one downside to it, and that is that it bleeds. Especially if you're someone who has a problem with feathering, like creamy lipsticks feathering outside the lip lines, you definitely have to use a lip liner underneath, or I used the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in just like the clear one. So I mean, it is technically a lip liner, but it's clear, so it doesn't affect the shade at all, and it just prevents it from feathering and going outside the lip line at all. Even then, it can a little bit, so you just have to, you know, be careful. It's not something you can just put on and forget about. I would check in the mirror every now and then, just make sure it's not starting to bleed. But overall, it's a pretty good product. It's very comfortable. It's super creamy. It's moisturizing. I don't know about their matte lipsticks, like their regular ones or any of the other formulas. That's like one pass, right? I don't know. I just went and that's what it showed up as. So it's really, really pretty, very pigmented gorgeous and the wear time is that of a regular lipstick so you know I wouldn't eat with it it's gonna come off on your coffee cup you're gonna have to reapply it throughout the day it's not a liquid lipstick that's gonna stay all day I wouldn't say it's much better than any regular lipsticks except for it feels really good by the way $9.99 and then the last product which actually it probably is my favorite just because all of the other products you can find just as good or even better products at lower prices but this product i haven't seen anything like it or if i have it's been you know pretty expensive and this one works really well so this is the coconut water moisturizing face mask with shea and cocoa butter for dry skin and i have dry skin so this is like the only product that you know you'd have to get the one that's good for your skin they have some for combo and oily skin some for dry skin some that you just want to brighten your face all kinds of different masks and they come in a little little pot like this. This one's only $3.99, so I think this is the cheapest product out of all the ones that I got, and it was my favorite. It's just a creamy white 
cream. It smells relatively okay. It definitely has that fake coconut smell, like the plasticky coconut smell. So I mean, if that doesn't bother you too much, then you'll be fine. You only leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then you take it off. And afterwards, oh my gosh, you guys, my face felt so good. So like I said, it's from moisturizing and I cannot tell you how soft and moisturized my face felt. This is probably one of the best moisturizing masks that I've used and if you, you know, use it sparingly, you don't even really have to use it sparingly. There's plenty of product in here. It's a third of an ounce. I got two or three uses out of it. I want to try more of their face masks because if this one is really good, I am assuming that some of the other ones are as well. I personally would not recommend buying online just because, again, you don't know exactly what the formula is going to be like until you test it out yourself. Lip liners, nail polish, lip pencil, liquid lipstick especially, I would pass on all of those. Hopefully this review was helpful for you. And if it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I would love to have you stick around. Again, I would love to know what your opinions on these products were. If you had different experiences with me, let me know. If you found a great way to work with these and I'm just doing something wrong, let me know. I would love to make these work for me since I can't return them. That's gonna be it for me today. I hope you guys are doing well and until next time, I'll see you very soon. Bye. Things I got were from the Target Dollar Spot section. And you guys, let me tell you, that section is so underrated. <laughs>